and boxes. Box. So tired already. Okay. Welcome to another Alexandria RPG unboxing video featuring me, Carissa, the spouse of the Chief Librarian. Ever since PAX West, we've been getting packages daily, basically, um, with books and stuff in them or donations for the library. And I figured after two weeks, maybe they would stop showing up. And they have, thank goodness. It was, it was a very large stack. I have nowhere to put them. But we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing video. I have opened most of the envelopes because as much fun as it is for you guys to watch me struggle or watch any person struggle to open these things, I don't find it that fun. It is really frustrating. So I went ahead and opened the packages. I haven't looked inside most of them. Some of them were boxes, so I couldn't really help it. But let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and we're probably going to switch to the overhead view so you guys can actually see what's going to be on the table. Ooh, Star Trek. The Narrator's Toolkit. Cool. I wonder if this is post-era shrink wrap or like it came like this. Cool. That's cool. I prefer Star Trek over Star Wars, so this makes me a little excited. We'll set this aside and we'll continue on. Look at that, it's so tiny. It's a little tiny envelope. What's in this one? Oh, I opened it upside down. Cobalt's ate my babies. This must be like a first edition or something because now it's like all sleek and shiny and, and about the size of a magazine. This, this game contains some material of a gruesome and violent nature. The makers of this game would just like to make it clear that they do not condone eating ba of babies or any other mean-spirited, wicked, or otherwise evil thing contained in this book. Repeat, do not eat babies. For the love of God, do not eat babies. This game is so silly and fun. It's, uh, this is cool. I'm not going to open it up right now. Maybe we'll do that in another video. All right, this one just fell out of its bag. Or maybe I killed the bag, I don't know. But second edition of Albedo. Just in case you don't have enough of furry animal fun in our library. We do have quite a few of these um, funny animal based books. So add in another one. This one came, this one was smartly packed, it had a piece of cardboard in there. So See what's in here. Seeker, the role playing game. Yeah, it's messy. Ooh, the Artemis is cool. Uh oh, it involves math. Evil math. Of course, it is a universal language and what not, so I guess. This looks neat. They come from every walk in life. They're humble Christian monks, passionate artists, logical. Ah. Role playing game about self improvement. Cool. Well, make sure to check this out the next time you're at one of our events. All right, so this bag came super beat up. Like these corners. If you guys are going to mail things, especially books, I highly recommend um, using like a bubble mailer or a box or it, double bagging it if you're going to do this because 
this, this could end up damaging the books later, which really sucks. All right, let's see what's in this sad little thing. El Hazard, role-playing game and resource book. Cool. We actually have quite a selection of anime role-playing books in our library, too. Maybe like a dozen or so. But it's always cool to add others, especially based off of, you know, older things. And I just saw boobs. Yeah. Street. This one came double bagged, so it was smart. And D6. Star Wars, uh, West, or not Star Wars, D6 something. West End Games. They did some good stuff. Just a generic adventure book. Contents. Cool. Looks like it's kind of generic sci fi adventure stuff. Okay, but there's a zombie who's killing it. I love the look on his face. Okay, well, you can check this out at the next event we're going to be at, possibly. I'm not breaking things, I swear. Collect him. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. That required a sip of tea. So, cross between Digimon and Pokemon, perhaps? Random anime. Oh, I don't know if we have any of that. I mean, I'm sure we have some of it. Just Cool. Well, if you guys really want to play Pokemon or Digimon, you can now play Collectamon, the role-playing game. Supplement for random anime. This actually came in before PAX, like right before PAX, and I forgot to include it when we went to the library, but this is the supplement, to, this is the extra book for Zweihander. If you've not seen Zweihander, it is a good, like, four or five inches thick. It's, I would classify it as a tome, but it is super cool. One of our favorite games to play when you have the bring your own book game. It's a great book for that. Ugh. It's all nice and matte. Nice. Ooh, this is actually really nice. It, it kind of reminds me of like the paper you get in the Warhammer 40k books. Like not not the most recent stuff, but you know stuff from like the mid 2000s. Nice. I know that was like a, a break in what we were doing, but I have three boxes. Well, actually, I have two boxes and a box that is now a bag because there was a bag in the box. This is what's in that first box. Judge Dread role-playing game box set. So we have, I believe we have two Judge Dread books already. And one of them is based off of the newer stuff. So this is probably based off the comic book. Oh, they packed it all nice with a piece of foam in there to keep it from jumping around. Complete with the dice. Oh, and they even rounded off the caltrop so we're not killing ourselves quite so bad. Apparently you should read this book first. I'm running out of space on my table. Cool. It goes over your phases and stuff. Whoa. It even has highlighted bits in it, which is totally awesome for us because it shows 
that somebody thought this was really important information, and it's part of the history of the book. That's why we're okay with price tags, and if you left a character sheet in there, we're cool with that. We try to keep everything together because we want people to understand the history of where the book came from and what how it was used. Well, there's that book, and there's the Gay Master's book, which is quite thick. Let's flip through this real quick. Lovely. And, oh, we got a map. Nice and cut out. And, um, oh, and looks like our mission briefing. So, coolness. It's all back in in order. Push everything back together. And this box is actually in pretty good shape. I mean, we've we've had some really sad ones. That is awesome. And next up, oh, oh, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Okay. Well, I would categorize this as one of the what in God's name were they thinking World Board games, but you know, kind of like our Dallas one. Role playing party game. Cool. Oh, there's a car. <laughs> Little hand puppets. Hello. 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 Oh my god. That is so crazy. Bullwinkle. I don't even know their name. It doesn't say. Bullwinkle little spinner thingies. Oh my god, there's so many bits in this box. I haven't seen this show in so long, I don't remember most of their names. <laughs> remember Natasha? Oh, I guess this is so you can make your own guy. Of course, he's played by Sid Gould's father. Cool. It tells you, tells you all their names. What's going on? The narrator. Aww. Well, this looks cool. Oh, and here's the book. Okay. How to play the game. Oh, cool. You get little certificates and stuff. Safe Cracking Academy. <laughs> That's awesome. So there's a How to Play the Game, the storybook, and Guide to Frostbite Falls and Beyond. That's cool. There are so many bits in this game. Okay. I think my favorite is definitely the hand puppets. What do the cards say? Inherit something valuable. Dig deeper. One ticket to the SS Plankton. A contract for anything. With incredibly PC fine print. Ooh. Cool. Little spinner thing. Yes and no. Well, that that's cool and crazy. And I hope somebody plays this at our next event that we can bring it. All right. Next up is this huge bag. Let's see what's in it. We've got. Universe, the sci-fi RPG. Cool. I did not drop it, it just hit the bookshelf that I have next to me. Authority. I think we have a bunch of this book. Not, not specifically this one, but I think we have some of this from the series. Oh, they left us a card. Oh, there's other cards in it. Cool. Wild Storm, the incredible superhero collectible card game. Well, now we know that was a thing. And it makes a good bookmark, apparently. Cool. Put this on that bookshelf. 
hope it doesn't fall over. Ugh. Wars role playing game. I don't think we have enough sci-fi space type games, so I'm cool with that. And this last one is a mystery, and I put my scissors away, and the bag down there is attacking me. Alright. Let's see what's in this one. It's a mystery. Ugh. Space War. Worlds and Weapons. Ooh. Cool. So this is like a uh, fluff. A book of fluff. Fantastic creatures. Different worlds. Well, cool. So we will probably have this at the library, but it'll be in like, um, our supplement section because we do have some books on you know how to be a DM and and role playing games for dummies and things like that. So this will probably be over there. And pretty. So that's where you will find this. Probably need to get some clear acetate sleeve for it. Nice. Thank you for watching us unbox a whole bunch of awesome role playing games. Check back in the future and hopefully we'll have some more for you. Have a good day. Everything I say sounds lame. Well, let's just go ahead and get a bunch of these open and we'll record this for the first part or something. Who knows? I just got back inside the room to yard work. I'm a little warm. Okay. Two. Last one. This one's heavy. Hey, this one's got full tabs. Why did the other ones have full tabs? I probably just didn't see them.